Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here in Switzerland at Parisi Automobile in Gerlafinger. I will leave the link in the description if you want to check out the cars and you want to check out the service. They have plenty of uh, Hyundai cars right here. And I have with me the new Hyundai E30 facelift wagon. It's right here and I will test drive it for you guys. We will make the test drive. I will give you my impression about the car uh, as always on my channel. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see the newest test car that come on the market and you will see test drives, review and all kind of information about the cars. Uh, also here is the key. Pretty nice, pretty light key. It looks nicer. I like this gray. Uh, it looks super, super nice. But in this video, it's all about driving the car and experience the way it feels while you're driving also the car come with a new engine 1.5 liter tgdi the petrol engine 160 horsepower and yeah i'm really curious also it has the automatic gear shifter seven gears uh clutch and dual clutch and i'm really really curious to to give you my impression about that also new grille but about the grill, about the exterior, about the review in the interior, you will see another video on my channel with full review interior, exterior, and there I show you every single uh, piece of the car and you, you will see everything you need there. So yeah, that's why subscribe and you will see when that video will come out. Um, yeah, what can I say? Let's go and let's drive it, guys. All right, guys, so here is the new Hyundai E30 wagon facelift 2020 model, and we will drive it as I told you before. Here is the key. I think you already see the key, super nice key. It still have the key, the physical key, because the car doesn't come with uh, the start stop button, and I will show you in the moment. Let me go inside. Um, yeah, something that I that I notice in this car I like very very much the doors and the noise inside the car it's much more improved uh, than from the previous version and if you hear it's so many noise outside a lot of cars if I open the door so you can hear the insulation it's much better and i like it very much before we start driving i want to show you a few information about the car so this hyundai e30 uh estate right now we have the 1.5 liter tgdi petrol and it is the amplia version guys in case you're wondering seven gear 
uh, shifter dual couple uh, DCT then now what it's interesting the price of this car it's 36,500 francs around 30 I think $36,000 and if you come right here guys at Parisi Automobile I will leave the link in the description and the price will be 4,500 cheaper and the total price will be 31,900 francs around $30,000 guys this car it's fantastic it's so spacious it's amazing you will love it hyundai makes so nice cars with such a good price 160 horsepower and 253 newton meter and here are all the options I, i'm not going to to read it out for you because i will make a full review with the car there you can see the interior exterior i show you the, the seats i show you the space in the back i show you uh, which kind of lights are here and all kind of stuff information about the car you will see in the full review also how much space you have in the glow box and stuff like that you will see it right there on the other video also of course you can add some extra uh, options to the car to this amplia and yeah but all about that in other video subscribe to my channel if you want to see um yeah the other one also manual adjustable seats that come with the car and i have to adjust it a little bit for me I think now it's good maybe a little bit in the back just like that now uh, the car doesn't come with the start stop engine button so you have to do the classic way I don't know sure if you can take it as an option I think you can take it as an option the start stop button but other than that I'm impressed that the car come with electric uh, handbrake, auto hold, heated seats in the front. Also, the car can come with ventilated seats in the front uh, and also with other leather seats uh, on the other versions. Also, here is the button for the driving modes. But anyway, put the contact. Also, you have the newest uh, navigation system on the market. It's right, right, right here in front of me. Let me change the language. Um, because I have some complaints for you guys also the climatic system I will close it right now we don't really need it we go to settings car here and then here it should be also the language so we can do it in English so it's much better this is the new navigation system and also I will review it for you guys it's amazing I like the color so much it looks like a computer like a new computer anyway let me go to home home screen and let's see the navigation navigation let's see it here are the settings for the navigation also you have shortcut button here and those shortcuts button are physical this is super awesome i'm not going to go into detail right now about that i just i just want you um to see the feeling of driving also the car come with this amazing digital display right there in the front and the colors are crazy so in the middle you have a digital display on the side you have kind of a physical uh, dials for uh, turometer and here you have the gas and in the middle you have speedometer and all that stuff I don't know if you can see it so well with this camera but I will make it with another camera better the full review you will see there we will go in detail you can change different functions there so it's so cool it's the same menu as you find it on the Hyundai but much much better also i have to say that this car come with here is information about the navigation for example if we put it i don't want to put it navigation right now because then you will talk too much and we cannot hear each other but yeah i would just leave it like that you know here you have consumption and all that information also let me reset that i don't know how can i hold this on okay i reset it and now we will see which will be the consumption after we drive also i like the vents very much uh i think we have soft material everywhere here all over the dashboard on the upper side soft material very nice integrated also this super cool climatic system also you can use it manually from here i will put it to one and other than that a lot of space here for usb port but all about the space and stuff we will talk later um yeah all you have to do press the brake and the engine it's running right now and the engine is running 
and it's a petrol engine of course and it's very silent i like that also we have driving modes button here when you press it you have sport mode you can see it's changing there you have echo mode and you have normal mode we will drive in echo mode first time also the car come also the car come with let me show you with the reverse i don't know why it's not working with a reverse camera let me show you so the car come with a reverse camera also parking sensors in the front in the back so you have a great great visibility because of the number you cannot see it so well but i tell you it is great now put it in drive mode pretty simple and right now we can drive the car uh first impression uh it's very smooth i like that the car it is pretty pretty smooth and we can we can actually yeah, let me go down here let me put it in park because we have something down here on the road we have to take this on the side and then we can continue driving all right great so yeah as i said before i really like the doors we are at parisi automobile .ch. you can check out on the internet if you want to check them out the price and stuff you will find them there also you can see it here on this tucson tucson anyway guys first impression i like the way it feels it's super smooth great visibility on this huge multimedia system it's so big i like it very much oh even those those little nudges here they feel so good the turning signals they feel much more quality i like them i like the way they feel also the engine it's super smooth even if it's a little bit cold right now because the cars stay the suspension are are okay not bad can complain the brakes feel good also the acceleration not bad not bad I like the pedal the acceleration pedal it, it, it is very similar the pedals are very similar with the previous version not so much difference there I like the steering wheel the grip it's nice this is nice also it's soft uh, it's pretty cool I like it also we have here the wipers I just want to show you the wipers they working pretty well let me clean it so we have much better visibility right now uh, also the car come with the camera right here can read the traffic speed limit so right here we have 50 also you can see it on the, on the multimedia system right there uh, we are in echo mode can also accelerate a little bit oh yes it's not a sporty car it's it's you know it stay very well on the road the suspension are pretty good but if you want to drive sporty I don't think this is the the, the best option uh, if you want a sporty drive you can get the the e30 n for example it's an amazing car also the car come with lane assist and I see uh, before that it really help you for example here uh, I think it was too short but anyway it helped you now let me go here it's a little bit darker and I want to show you guys the lights in the interior when it's darker so you can see right now the ambient light let me show you you have a blue ambient light all over the buttons I think you can see the interior right here look pretty well also up here we have a normal bulb light yeah just to make an idea the way the car look in the nighttime i like the cockpit oh my god it's so nice resolution and this white there it's it's beautiful the multimedia system it's it's gorgeous i love it i i really really love it also here we can test the bumps so as i said suspension are great the car feel a little bit and the curves is not so sporty the gear shifter it's it's fantastic 
I like the way it's changed the gears. The brake is awesome. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I love it. To be honest, I love it. Here we can test also the turn radius. Even it's a big, big car, family car. I just want to see the turn radius of the car. And oh my God, it's not bad at all. It's really not bad. It's a comfortable car. The car comes also with blind spot technology right there. If we go right now in sport mode, let me change it. Normal sport mode. Let's see acceleration. Oh my God. Oh man. And the gear shifter is super, super good. Great job. I think they did a great job with that. I like the sport mode so much. Even it's a not sport, a sporty car, you still have an amazing acceleration, 160 horsepower, it's more than enough for what you need uh, on the daily basis. And the suspension are gorgeous. And if you ask me, I really prefer this suspension, you know, uh, I prefer to have this feeling of range uh, of, of Rolls Royce, for example, and not the feeling of a sporty car. This is a daily car. Right now you can see in sport mode, the, the gear shifter will shift the speed a little bit higher. Right now you can see it's changing a little bit higher and it helps you accelerate stronger. But if you go in normal mode, right now we are in normal mode, then we'll be somewhere between this. It will change it a little bit later but it's still very responsive the car so not bad not bad i like the feeling and also in the curves here it, it feels super comfortable on the curves it's not a sporty car it is super comfy and i like it also the brakes are pretty good even on the bad roads like here the car doing a great job I, I really like it. Also here we have some bumps. We will test it here. Yes, pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Great, great job. Also, I will stop here for a while. Let me show you the exterior of the car. Electronic handbrake, auto hold, of course. Here we have some cup holders. Let me go outside, guys, to show you the car. So here is the car from outside. Also, it comes with Michelin tires right here and we have 16-inch uh, rims and those rims look great. Also here in the back, you have the, the brake discs, guys, and also in the front, uh, we will have the brake discs, but yeah, I will show you also a little bit later. You can see all the information in the full review that I will do it a little bit later. So not bad at all. And the price, it's amazing for a car in this class, for a family car. I like the chrome design around the windows there. I think it looked great. Also, the car come with the 20, 48 volt battery, hybrid, mild hybrid. You can see the stick right here. And that helped the consumption of the car a lot, a lot, a lot. And also the CO2. So uh, it's a great, great system. All right, guys, so let's go forward now. Let's go forward um, and drive. Until now, my impression about the car is that it is a super nice car and I'm quite impressed with $30,000. You can buy a brand new station wagon car that it's pretty great and you have so much space here inside also someone coming with a horse right now i have to i have to make them space for them ah, people here in switzerland they, they they go with horses sometimes it's pretty nice um yeah because here it's kind of countryside so anyway i like this multimedia system i think it's awesome and i like also the touch screen buttons here are great now let's go on the left side right now also the steering wheel is pretty nice you 
you can hear the way it's changed the gears it's just perfect now let's go in normal mode and let's see the way it's changed the gears I'm really curious brake and accelerate wow wow great job you don't even feel it it's changed a little bit higher uh, than in echo mode and in sport mode it's changed much more higher also the steering wheel it's much more softer for example right now let's take this roundabout it's much more softer it's easy 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 to drive this car really easy also it has a good grips here in the in the corners it's not bad handling it's, it's quite good great job Hyundai I like the car really nice also the climatic system it's super simple to use there you have kind of a nice position good visibility in the mirrors also the mirrors are quite big uh, and yeah also in the back there you have great visibility almost no blind spot we have here on the steering wheel you have also this um, um, lane assist button right here you can activate this activate it you just have to press it and then you have the adaptive cruise control button right here also you, when you activate this let me show you I don't know if it's working right now it has to be with green there but the car help you to keep in lane so this is awesome for example now it's green and the car right now it's keeping in lane so it's pretty cool that the car come with this technology I uh, pretty pretty it's, it's quite nice I like it I like it anyway super nice I think they did a great job with the car great suspension good visibility the seats are pretty nice even though you have to um, adjust it manually they are quite comfortable um, the multimedia system it's, it's it's gorgeous I mean this is one of the best thing in the car it's an amazing the new one the new design the way it stayed there it's perfectly also the new cockpit it's awesome and I like the colors and everything there it's beautiful and yeah what can I say leading vehicle drive on also you have this new technology when the, the, the car in front it's it's going it will it will let you know you know so when you are on the stop light and the car in front are going they will let you know also the lane assist it's working even here i'm quite impressed you can see right now i tell you the cam car with all kind of technology like the adaptive cruise control emergency brake uh even the emergency brake and all that tech it's right here on the car so it's super impressive i'm really impressed about that also the acceleration is quite good i really like i just tested before i think you already see it and also right here the car it's keeping in the lane let's see that yes you can see it's take the curve yes it's take the curve all right great job let's see what happened here uh, all right you have to take control they have to work a little bit more on this but still it's a great great feature on the on the highway they keep they, they help you keep the car in the lanes and I think this is a great start this is a great great start anyway the comfort it's here the suspension it's are nice even here you can see it's keeping the lane it's quite impressive oh yeah not everywhere so you have to take you have to pay attention to the road much more yeah anyway So you can change different function or you can change whatever you want to see there on the cockpit. And 
it's super soft. Right now we are in normal mode and uh, the steering wheel it's super super soft, super easy. You don't even feel that you have such a long car in the back. It feels quite good. Quite, quite good. It's impressive. Also you have pedals here if you want to change the gear manually for example. If you want to change manually you can use those pedals. Uh, the other thing that I like about the car is the gear shifter, this 7 gear dual clutch, um, it's, it's amazing, I mean it's changed the gear so smooth you don't even feel when it's changing, right now you see it's just helped me to lane assist to keep the car between the lane, you can also deactivate it from here, right now I deactivate it because I want to drive myself it's quite impressive and also it's very silent something that I notice inside the car it's super super silent you hear the engine when you accelerate also the car come with this um, 48 volts mild hybrid as I told you before so it helps the car coasting when it's coasting when you accelerate it gives you some help the battery and the consumption will be much better and that's that's quite great I, I like the car also you have great visibility in the mirror right here in the back you have an amazing visibility quite good the dashboard it's nice you have a nice layout there no complaining at all everything look just perfect the blind spot technology it's also show me the the bicyclets this is great i didn't expect that to see that the bicyclets also in the blind spot this is awesome when you can see the bicyclets also in the blind spot for example in my tesla you can see that but in this Hyundai E30 uh, wagon or estate you can see it yeah guys um, if you want to see the full review with this car check out on my channel I have it right there full review interior exterior you see all the detail the space the material quality the glow box the multimedia system I will go into detail and you can see it on my channel so just check it out guys um, yeah what can I say I like the car the car it's it's just gorgeous I mean I, I, I love it for this price for this price I think it's an amazing car and I think it totally deserve if you need a new car I think this is one of the best car that you can take it for this price and with so many um, advantages so yeah electronic handbrake as you see before stop the engine now guys put it in the park and guys i'm finished with this video uh i hope you really enjoy the video guys uh the test drive with the new e30 wagon facelift 2020 i like the car very much i like the, the my favorite parts are the multimedia system uh, in terms of driving, I like the gear shifter. It's it's awesome. It's changed the gear super well. The steering wheel it's responsive. It's nice. The suspension are very comfortable. Uh, going into the sport mode, the steering wheel it's a little bit stiffer. Um, also, the acceleration is the the acceleration. Yes, it's changing the gear. The 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 gear shifter is changing a little bit higher. Uh, and it gives you a lot of power, 160 horsepower, it's more than enough on this car. And yeah, uh, it's not a super sporty car, it doesn't feel so sticky to the road, it's more of a comfortable car, but you still have plenty of horsepower to, to, for takeaways and stuff like that. And I think for the price, it's an amazing car with this multimedia system, with automatic gear shifter heated seats you have camera you have electronic hand brakes um you have this new cockpit that it's it's awesome 
and yeah many 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 features here also check out the review if you want to see the space inside and all those details also the multimedia system we will go in detail but until then i hope you enjoy it please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of those kind of videos guys also like it share it it will mean a lot for me uh thank you again for watching and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys guys i hope you really did enjoy the video and it was helpful for you for more information the price and the car uh, check out on the website parisiaautomobile.ch there you find all the cars they are in switzerland if you are around here come and check them out they have a lot of cars and they have a great service so yeah bye guys <laughs>